What's up guys? Ryan from Cortex Labs, livecortex.com, where we talk about brain performance from the perspective of using nootropics as well as energy optimization, really using any biohacking tool we have available, mainly hacking lifestyle as well as testosterone. Thank you so much for being with me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the box and the bell to get notified of content because these days, your boy's being really prolific. Is that the right word? Prolific? Yeah. I'm being prolific. All right, um, before we start, I just wanted to say that we're still running BOGO on Cortex. For those of you that didn't get the email or are not on the email list, um, so we're running buy one, get one free on the Cortex stack. I'll talk about the stack at the end if you're interested in our nootropic stack. It's actually super powerful and been around for seven years. But right now, if you use the coupon code BOGO, B-O-G-O, um, you can get a bottle for free per what you buy. So you add a bottle to your cart, you punch the coupon code in, make sure it applies, and then you check out. You won't see your free bottle on the checkout, nor will you see it in like your receipt that comes to you via email. But if you use the coupon code BOGO, it registers on our side and we'll ship you a free bottle per what you buy. Livecortex.com, BOGO on the Cortex stack, literally right now. Let's talk about this idea, um, this thing that's actually plagued me before until I figured it out. I'm gonna give you a physique before and a physique after. Like while well, I was sort of like raising my test but kind of getting fat at the same time and then figured out like what to change and, and it ended up being my exercise routine, which is really interesting. But how this applies to a lot of men raising tests where it's harder to cut. It's harder to, it can be harder to lose weight. And there's a bunch of variables that factor into that. And I want to kind of break that stuff down for you guys. So I want to just start by taking us right into the testosterone subreddit. The thread that reads the following. Using exogenous testosterone makes cutting borderline impossible for me. The guy goes on to say, prior to TRT, I ran through many traditional bulk and cut cycles. Sure, cutting is never fun, but now that I'm on test, I swear to God, it feels like it's almost impossible. Since starting TRT, my, hungry, my hunger is beyond insatiable. My body just wants to grow, which I'm not exactly complaining about as I appreciate the mass I've acquired since I've started, but I'm starting to accept the fact that I'll never get down to shredded sub 10% body fat state ever again. I look back on my fitness pal logs, where I ate 1,800 calories for extended periods of time, and I'm absolutely dumbfounded on how I ever did that. Anyone else feel this way? You know, and some folks chimed in, I guess some other Redditors chimed in, and one guy went, it definitely affected my hunger, but I leaned out more than I would have expected with the amount of cheating I do. So this didn't really apply to him. Um, another guy goes, you can try increasing the volume of food without increasing the calories. This should help you feel more satiated, so pretty good suggestion. Another guy goes, volume eating is truly the way for cutting. Even with my old tricks, I'm still struggling. Oh no, that's the OP. Another guy goes, same happened to me, but, uh, but in my case specifically, turns out I had undiagnosed diabetes and blood sugar was messing with me. It's been a long time. I would look into other potential contributing factors. And, and there's a bunch of other comments, but I would just say this. So here's what I learned. So I'm doing Ryan's Natty Protocol on the Testosterone Superclass, and that is a very strong protocol for me. And so far for guys that have gone on the Testosterone Superclass protocols, there's a bunch of them in there. So you kind of have to pick and choose, we sort of instruct you on which protocols to use for your body based on blood and you know how you feel and things of this nature. But Ryan's Natty Protocol for me as a 38 year old guy is like sufficient, right? I don't need to go on anything significant. I've done some gonadotropin hacks in the past. And so, you know, I'm running that protocol. It is raising my testosterone and it's making me hungry, hungrier. You know, we, we've talked about this in recent videos and I was posting like uh, videos, shorts of me like eating turkey club sandwiches on the go because I literally just got so hungry when my test was rising that I just wanted to eat everything in sight. And that does happen. Your metabolism is upregulating, so that's one reason that happens, you know? You know, your, your caloric set point for the day tends to change because if your metabolism is revving and you're kind of burning fat at a higher, faster rate than usual, then you're gonna be hungrier to make up for that. Like you're burning fat, so you're gonna be in an energy deficit, <laughs> then you're gonna to wanna to eat everything. So you gotta be careful. At the same time, guys would either get on test or have a comprehensive protocol to raise testosterone, that's natural, or you're, you're hacking gonadotropins, like agonizing the receptors or you know maybe modifying estrogen receptors in the hypothalamus. And you know therefore, you're raising your testosterone, and it, in doing that, it, it gives you a lot of energy and makes you want to work out more. So herein lies the solution to at least my problem as it relates to this, and I'll explain that here in a second, where the energy surplus that you now have from raising tests, because it will fucking change your energy, dude. Like every time I go on a protocol, I'm like, wow, this I forgot what this testosterone fueled energy feels like. It's a it's a different land of like conquer energy and drive and sort of 
you know, seemingly endless uh, brain energy. It's really awesome. But like having that energy makes you want to move your body more. Like, I mean, and if you're not careful, you can kind of go crazy. Oh, I want to fucking go run a few miles. And like, I think that's fine. I mean, those strategies are fine. But for some people, if you, if you burn too many calories because you have this excess energy now because you've risen your testosterone or you're on TRT, then you're going to get to a point where you're in such an energy deficit that you you end up overeating as a result of it. So you end up going above your, you know, your new caloric set point, and now you're in an energy surplus just because you were, you had such good energy from, you know, raising your testosterone that you went out and burned a bunch of calories. You're like, fuck, I have energy. I want to burn. I want to do stuff. And then, you know, your body was like, hey, man, like, I mean, you went, <laughs> you went a little low on the calories, and now we we need to eat you know and then what you end up doing is you end up gorging your fucking face on some fucking whoppers bro then you're in a place where then you're in a place where you're we're in an, in an energy surplus and a caloric surplus and you and it, you know it's harder for you to actually lose weight so i want to show you this is my physique it's about a month in of running ryan's natty protocol which again is on the testosterone super class at livecortex.com energy was up so i was working out more but my physique was kind of mad like look at my physique like it's nothing fucking you know remarkable going on here i was totally like you know had had a good bit of body fat on me well what i recognized that i was doing is because my energy was so peak from raising tests and being on this protocol i was pushing my exercise routine a little too much I ended up walking four or five miles a day or something and then like i don't know four or five times a week i'd be lifting weights in the evening and I would burn through so much energy doing that that I would compensate for that by ultimately overeating. And I wasn't using my fitness pal. I wasn't really tracking all that much. My set point had changed. My caloric set point had changed and I wasn't really paying attention to it at that point. And so, yeah, I mean, I ended up like looking like that. And I was like, dude, something's gotta change here. So all I really did was I actually scaled my exercise routine down. So instead of walking four to five miles, I'll scale it down to two to three miles, right? I shaved off two miles per day and that's totally fine with me. Like I still get, you know, a good bit of like mental satisfaction walking around two, three miles a day. It's actually really awesome. And just because I cut down the exercise, which made it so that I wasn't as hungry, like throughout the day later, I ended up getting my caloric intake and my exercise and my sort of energy balance in a really, really good place. And this picture was taken like a week and a half later. So like, look at the definition difference. You can actually see my pecs, you can see my shoulders, you can see like my traps, you can actually see everything. Can't really quite see my abs yet in that picture. You know, that takes some time to develop and you're talking about getting down in body fat, but like what a big difference, right? All I did was cut down my exercise so that, because I don't want people to think like, oh, you cut down your exercise and you know, exercising less means like you lose more weight. Like, no, 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 like I cut my exercise down and therefore I wasn't so like insatiably hungry throughout the day, like later to where I would overeat. And in some cases like sweets and shit. So that just ended up being like my strategy to remedy it. I mean, ultimately you should be tracking calories. And when you raise your test past what you're used to, uh, you're gonna, you're, your caloric set point is gonna change. Like what you knew as your calorie maintenance, say it was 1800 calories or something like this guy, it's now gonna be 20, you know, like 2000, 2100, 2200, I mean, 2150, like it, it all depends, but it does change. Either way, when you're raising tests, like this dude mentioned, your body does inherently want to grow, right? Aside from this issue of overworking and then you just want to overeat and that's how you end up getting fat, like, you know, raising your testosterone, your body wants to grow, man. I mean, you're synthesizing protein more, you're probably working out more. You know, testosterone in general, whether it's TRT or you're like using a really effective strategy to raise your own test, I mean, it, it certainly is gonna make you want to eat more. So yeah, I mean, again, the solution for me was just to exercise a little less so that I wasn't as hungry. I mean, I'm still in the protocol and I am still hungry. And look, there are days where I'll go in a surplus because I just fucking can't take it anymore. Like I just need to eat, my body needs to eat. It gets like, I get aggressive and it, it feels like a fucking monster inside of me that's just like eat fucking everything. Cheat days, okay? In some cases, cheat days work really, really well for this. 
And but there there is kind of an intermittent fasting strategy that makes it a lot easier to cheat and really not go that much over in calories, but you get your satiation point because you eat a lot of food at one time. And that's obviously, you may be imagining that I'm going to say, basically wake up and not eat a whole lot in the morning. Try to fast throughout the, the morning, afternoon time frame. Don't rigorously exercise because that's going to make you more hungry. And by like 2 p.m., you're going to be pretty fucking hungry, dude. And you're going to want to eat an ox. And so then you should make that your cheat day and just order pizza and a fucking gyro and curly fries and just go to town and eat a bunch of food. Then, you know, you're not going to be as hungry later on because you just like pretty much gorged on a bunch of food and your stomach's going to be like, all right, let me just chill and settle and digest all this and try to assimilate nutrients and protein where necessary. And then you'll probably find for the next six hours, you don't want to eat anything. And then once it all digests and your stomach is a little less full, you'll probably want to eat at nighttime and then just, you, but it won't be like you're insatiably hungry at that point. I mean, those big cheat meals in the middle of the day surrounded by fasting satiate you, man. So those are my strategies for it. It can totally like, you know, get the better of you, man. Raising testosterone changes your metabolic set point, dude. It changes your caloric set point, your maintenance number. It makes your body work faster. It gives you more energy so you wanna work out more and then you run into these issues. So employ these strategies, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope this has been a useful topic for some of you, or at the very least, entertaining, because it is very useful to me and very relevant to me. Again, here's my before, when I wasn't employing all of these strategies, I ended up basically employing all these strategies, and then here's my after. And this was really only a week and a half uh, difference, and I was a lot leaner in this second picture here. All right, as I said in the beginning, um, Cortex right now is BOGO, so it's like July 19th or something. So this is not going to last long because when we blow out a certain amount of inventory, I actually have to pull the BOGO coupon code because we're losing inventory very quickly. But right now it's buy one, get one free. You use the coupon code BOGO. You add a bottle to your cart of the Cortex Nootropic stack. You use the coupon code BOGO, B-O-G-O. -O, make sure it applies and then you just check out. You'll only see the bottle that you're buying on the checkout, but if you use the coupon code and it registered, we'll ship you a free bottle per what you buy. It's buy one, get one free right now, not lasting long. Livecortex.com for the Cortex stack. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on Torque. You know, again, it's slated to be ready this week, so we'll see what happens from the lab. Um, any day now, you know, we'll get the ping and that the product is ready and on its way here, so. Um, Torque is going to be a magnificently powerful nootropics that is going to revolutionize the nootropics game. Livecortex.com, livecortex.com for all of our nootropic and testosterone enhancing products. Thank you so much for being with me. It's been a pleasure chatting with you, my friends. Please sub if you're not. If you ain't subbed, man, hit the sub button and the fucking bell too. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. All right. See ya.